This is just a quick video showing how I added a tongue box to the front of that new Sport Haven trailer. Now, um, I ordered a box online, and I'll show you in a second how it arrived. But um, to start out with, I ordered some U-bolts uh, from Amazon. These are stainless steel because with aluminum, you have to worry about the similar metals. And I also had some heat shrink tubing laying around. Um, usually stainless and aluminum are good, but you can still get corrosion. And I didn't want to be able to put too much pressure on the, uh, the aluminum parts up there. So I just uh, cut some pieces of this heat shrink tubing. It's a very thick wall and it's got adhesive in it too. So it should seal on there nice. And I'm just going to coat these U-bolts with three pieces of heat shrink tubing like that. And this stuff's pretty tough, takes a while to shrink and a lot of heat. Um, but, you know, basically a couple a couple seconds later, I've got uh, each of the U-bolts covered. And then I figured out, ah, let's throw, so I've got some UHMW tape around. I might as well put a dielectric barrier on the, um, the clamp part too, even though it's stainless, just to be safe. And, you know, this may be kind of overdoing it, but I like to, better to be safe than sorry, I say. I plan on keeping this a long time. So I'm just going to put that on there and cut out the slots there so it'll fit over the U-bolt and everything will be isolated. So that's how I started and you can see you know pretty much here they are all, all ready to go. And I cut some foam strips also for it. And in the background you can see UPS just dropped off a truckload of stuff and I'm working on my next videos here so there's some interesting ones be coming out soon. Now the box that I ordered, the first one arrived. Better built box from Northern Tool. They didn't package it well. You can see the box was smashed and the whole front of the box, toolbox here was smashed in. Then they shipped out another one and the lid was banged in the corner. The whole hinge is all messed up under there and a big dent in the side. So finally I told them just, uh, you know, I sent this back, told them just give me my money back. And I found those sells the exact same box under the Craftsman name. And it's actually $80 less. I couldn't believe it. And um, they had three in stock at a store that was about 30 miles from me. So I ran over and picked one up, got the best one with no damage on it. So, um, you know, I'd never try to mail order something like this again because... Um, FedEx is just terrible. They just tear up everything anymore. So anyhow, it's going to line in on the front of the trailer there. Try to get it pretty much exactly where I want it so it looks centered and um, the lid and everything opens. It's nice having that little relief in the back. Boy, this is a nice size box. Um, my only problem is that trailer jack handle, which I kind of knew when I measured it. It's going to be a problem. And then I decided I was going to put some neoprene strips i had some extra material laying around from an old job and i'm going to put them on the bottom just so that hopefully there'll be no squeaks or moisture getting in there i just cut some strips to fit right over the aluminum trailer frame all the pieces of it and self-adhesive so you know no problem you know just a little extra thing to hopefully help keep from water getting under there and from uh, any problems with squeaks so then um, I just, I did mark out the uh, location of those members with my Sharpie and now I'm just going to go back and uh, drill a hole spanning them through the U-bolt. And uh, when you're drilling in thin material, these step drills are usually the best. Oops, I had it set for um, clutch for putting screws in, but turn that in, it'll go. But when drilling thin materials, these uh, step build bits do the best job. They don't grab and they're easy to start where you want them and stuff. So, and this is fairly thin material. It's not, you know, it's about 0.055 thick, I think, or something like that. So it's not a real heavy duty box, but, uh, you know, it'll work for what I want. So there it is. I uh, got, got that one done. Here we go, the last hole. That didn't take long to, to put some holes in there. By marking the lines on it, I knew exactly where the frame was, so you know, it would all fit together in the end. Now I had to move this forward a little bit, and there was room there between that and the hole. And the thing that gets me is I used um, no isolation between this jack and the aluminum frame, but I guess galvanized is a high zinc coating it, so it's supposed to be good against aluminum. But I don't know, time will tell. 
So now it's time to set this in place and put it, you know, try to get everything lined up. And if I drilled the holes in the right place, everything will line up. Um, really fits on there nice, and there it is. The handle clears it now, so everything's going to be good. And this is a sizable box. It's um, really nice, well made. Not quite, you know, perfectly flat or anything. The welds aren't perfect, but they all look good, like good seals. So I'll get this lined up, paired to my holes that I drilled in there, and then just a matter of pushing those uh, U bolts that are, you know, all got the padding on them and stuff in isolation. And they just fit perfect around this frame and stick up in the box about half an inch, maybe. So I'll push them up from the bottom, and uh, there's a stainless plate. I put that on with the uh, UHMW down, and then just put the nuts on. And I thought about putting some sealer on there, but I really don't need it because that um, shrink tubing actually pulls up against the bottom of the box. And there you can see everything clears now. We're in good shape to go. So I'm just going to go back and put a little bit of Loctite on each of these nuts now. we have seen how the, the, you, you know, the clamp is facing down. If they ever came loose, it would fall out. So a little bit of blue Loctite will hold them in place for now. And um, you know, they won't come out. And I've got to cut a mat to fit it. But for now, I'm just going to throw a piece of foam I've got in there. And one thing you always want to have with a trailer is some kind of you know road triangle. So this box is the first one to go in there. And then I've got some straps and a jack and stuff like that to um, things for changing the tire and stuff. And I still have a lot more straps to go in there and stuff. But, you know, anyhow, I just started to put things in there. And this is really going to hold a lot. So I think it's going to be nice. It's going to work out good. It does come with a key and it's lockable. Now, I'm going to have to lube this lock. The key, first time they didn't have any lube on it, so it's a little tough. So... I'll spray some graphite in there and, you know, it'll go easy after that. But basically, you just turn that a quarter turn and it locks the top and makes everything fairly secure. If somebody wants to break in there, they will, though. And then I just thought I'd show you the other thing that I bought with the rest of the money from the dump trailer. And this is the new hitch to um, go with the trailer. And this one actually weighs the tongue weight when you're um, loading the trailer, so it'll be good for with the ATVs and stuff. It's a weight safe, and it's a 10-inch drop, because remember, I needed a longer drop. Um, and it's a 2-inch ball, which the trailer comes with. And then they have a 2 and 5 16 ball that just snaps on top of it, so you don't have to carry an extra ball. And this whole thing will fit under the seat of the truck when it comes apart, so it's pretty cool, I think. Can't wait to try it. I'll probably do a video about it once I see how it works and stuff. But, um, you know, that's the other part of the puzzle. I had some money left over I spent on it. And I do have E-Tracks coming for the trailer. Um, they're not here yet, so I'll be putting them on, you know, once I get them. Some chocks and E-Tracks for the side-by-side. Uh, -side. Anyhow, I just thought I'd show you how I mounted it. And, um, you know, I think I'm, I'm safe and I've got everything isolated, so... It should, you know, last a long time. And I'll do an update on this hitch once I get around to using it. I think it's pretty cool. Can't wait to try it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.